Hey Capricorn, welcome to your general love read. This week we are looking at the month ahead. However, time is fluid. So whenever you come to this, if it resonates with you, that's when it was meant for you. Okay, for those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive. So much of what you see on this channel will not be traditional. Okay, so just take what feels like and leave the rest. As well, um, know that as a general reading, roles can be reversed. This could be old baggage that you are carrying around or new energy coming towards you. If you have returned to watch again, thank you. You are the reason why I do this, all right? So Capricorn, you could be letting go of a very deep connected situation here, okay? Ancestors letting go and the intention here is okay a lot of overthinking about this you've kind of already opened the door but there's a lot of overthinking about whether or not you're going to move forward with this we're going to see if he's going to bark he may or may not bark all right but let's go ahead and take a look here okay so i'm going to look at you i'm going to look at them Okay, and then we're going to see where this is all going. All right. All right, so, okay, here you are, Five of Cups, Queen of Swords in reverse. All right. There could have been um, something in your life either that ended or you could be sad over like third party energy I'm getting for some of you. But there's this like not noticing the love that's coming into you, right? You're like in this like deep thought about this. So as you move through the month, you are coming through with a choice, with judgment, but I feel like you are going your own way. Okay, page of pentacles here at the end of the month. Okay, this person, beginning the month, ten of swords in reverse. Okay, so if there was third party, like they, they're working through, like getting, they're either getting over it or over it. All right, but in the middle of the month, seven of swords, uh, they may start hiding things again, which may be what leads to your judgment. At the end of the month, okay, we've got three of pentacles with the king of swords. Okay, so there could be a rekindling of um, some sort with this person at the end of the month, which leads you to go, no, I don't want to do this, okay? Because we've got eight of cups here at the bottom of the deck. So let's clarify, all right? Tell me more here about the Five of Cups with this Queen of Swords. So you could have been, all right, kind of guarding yourself or guarding your person here, okay? But all of this was meant to be kind of a rebirthing process for you. And so the um, coming back together could have been going very slow for you and this person. All right. Yeah, and there we have you sitting on this fence, right? Do I take this leap of faith into my future? Do I stay here? What am I supposed to do about this situation? Okay, this person, all right? 10 of swords in reverse, page of wands. Okay, kind of keeping to themselves, right? Not showing any emotions about their actions. The hangman, seven of wands, a little bit defensive about, you know, if you're having conversations about, well, why are you not really putting in the time and effort that is needed here? Okay, they are trying to balance things out in truth, but there is this sort of being torn between two things here. Temperance and Two of Pentacles, okay? They're still torn. 
So, judgment. All right. The thing you're having a hard time making a decision about, again, is the Four of Wands, which did come up. That ancestor card of mine is the Four of Wands. All right. This person, okay, they are very lusty. Okay. Uh, they are very magical. You have a lot of love for them. You're really in your head about this, right? What are you supposed to do? Now, it's interesting because we have, right, the Magician and the King of Swords. So for some reason I'm getting, you could be dealing with someone with Gemini in their chart. Okay, but this person, middle of the month, you feel like they might be starting to hide things again, and they might be. They're having this emotional tower moment. Okay. Yeah, Page of Swords, trying to get this clarity. Could be speaking, okay, with someone again. Right? They may even sense that there's an ending going on here. And so Ace of Wands, they could be taking proactive steps, right? Like, I'm not going to be left alone, high and dry. Okay, end of the month. You're going your own way, but you're not doing it out of, like, heartbreak, okay? You're doing it out of, it's more of like a mindful choice, right? Queen of Cups. I love you. I'm stepping back from this to see... You know, what else? All right. I feel like you're trying to see if this person can get their shit together and come forward the way they used to. Okay, this person though, yeah, definitely third party energy here. The three of pentacles, the devil. Um, if they're not going towards this, they're holding themselves back. All right, with the Four of Pentacles, only because um, they don't want to get caught. Yeah, Ten of Wands with the Three of Cups. Like, it's almost like it's too complex, okay? There's fantasizing about it. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. But there's so much work into it that they're not willing to put the work in with the third party either. Okay, right? So let's go ahead and get some emotions. Now, Capricorn, you are always the last, right? But my new uh, Emotions What Lies Beneath 3.0 version deck just came, okay? And it's got all the images. And you're first. So let's see what you're feeling here, Capricorn. Discouraged, okay? Um, a little lost, a little bit of a lack of confidence here. All right. And there's also a little bit of anxiousness, right? And fear about this future energy. Okay, so what's your person feeling here? Okay, nervous, right? A little bit clingy, perhaps. Um, you may find that they're trying to hold on a little tighter than usual, but not in the way that you want them to. Okay, and yeah, trying to be silly, trying to, like, showcase, like, their work. All right, but you can see it in them. There's this sort of loneliness within them. Um, so even when they're with you, there's this detachment. So let's clarify, okay? Yeah. The reason you're sitting here trying to get in illumination is you're like, Okay, I've been told that this third party is done, but is it really? Like, I don't feel I'm strong enough to, to, like, be a part of this anymore. Right? 
there's that desire to take that leap of faith um, just to be done with it. Okay, and this person, I feel like they do feel responsible. Like if this is a marriage, they do not want to leave you high and dry. Like they feel like they need to stay here and take care of you and be in this. Okay, they do not want to deceive you. That's not their intention going into this month. Okay. But I feel like, okay, you're turned away from them. It came out king and queen of cups, but you're turned away from them and they're cold, okay, detached. So they feel your pull away and they're trying to stay in it, but they're very detached. They're, they're lonely, okay? So, yeah, why are you in your head? Justice with the King of Swords, okay? So you're in your head about, especially like divorce, divorce with the King of Swords, okay? Yeah. What does that look like? How does that tear my family apart? How does that tear them apart? Okay, this person... Again, middle of the month, there's some sort of secrets and stuff where they're feeling down, but they're looking back at the past. Okay, Eight of Swords. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Okay, a little bit of juggling there, starting back up. Because they've got cold feet. Okay, they feel responsible here, Ten of Pentacles, but they also, Seven of Cups. Like, there's that... What about the other, is the grass really greener on the other side? So end of the month, okay? You've paused everything. Hangman. Okay, still very much in your head, Nine of Swords, but you are removing yourself from the situation, even if you love this person. Okay, you're creating distance, Two of Cups. Your person, okay, they're sitting here, all right, king of wands, in and out, very passionate, okay, but with this ace of cups, let's see, okay, it's not a rekindling with the queen of swords, They may feel very deeply tied to this person because I'm like, who is the Queen of Cups or the Queen of Swords? Okay, the lovers and their shadow. Okay, but they are staying at a distance. Even if this is the one that they're wishing for, Five of Pentacles with the Star... Yeah, in their head, this person is the one, but on paper, you are, and that's what they, that's what they're sticking with, okay? That's what they are going to stand by, right? I'm not going to take the cup that I want. I'm standing by my commitment, okay? Again, they are coming in playful, even though they're detached, okay? And Spirit's almost telling me that you could deal with a little bit of that play and that flirting if you do want to bring the emotions back into it. Um, but you could already be building something else outside of this, okay? You could already be making plans. Okay, this person is a soulmate. Okay, divine timing is at play in all of this. All right, there could be children at play in this. 
but it's important, okay, that this person is working through whatever issues they have as a child to determine like who they want to release. But it's interesting because the bottom card now here for you both is finances and career. That could be the one thing that's keeping the two of you together right now is that you've planted something together. Could be, okay, Jupiter is the bringer of children. It could be that you've planted children together or a new child on the way together. It could be that um, you're in business of some sort together financially and you don't really know how to get out of that so you're just bound together. All right, let's get an oracle card to close this out. Okay, yeah, the ghost dance. You're on the right path, but you are sort of dancing with the unknown here. And um, some, in some way, shape, or form here, your person is like a ghost, okay? But the ancient ones... Okay, your ancestors have come out twice here. You need to call on your ancestors to give you the guidance for this and for where you're going to go. Okay, because you can't see your path forward and your heart is pretty blocked up in all of this. So you really need to call in the ancestors and say, hey, give me a clear path for what I'm supposed to do in this. And then listen, <laughs> okay? So I hope this helps you, all right? If you watch this far, please click on the like because it's how you can energetically give back. It gets the message out to more people as well. Next week, we're gonna go into your soul path. And so that may give you more information on how to work on yourself, all right? So much love, my friends. I hope you have a beautiful weekend and I will see you next time. Bye.